was just about to leave for the day and I heard something come through the mail slot in the door of my office. It's an envelope and it's addressed to Dr. Nail Nipper, Minnesota. That's all it says. Dr. Nail Nipper, Minnesota. And inside, huh, somebody sent me a nail nipper. Just a nail nipper. That's weird. No return address. Well, I guess you can never have enough nail nippers, especially if your name is Dr. Nail Nipper. So I'm sitting around with not a whole lot to do on a day when it's very cold and snowy outside and I come across this uh, I come across this video from Healthy Feet Podiatry and it's almost like he's talking directly to me. So will you watch it with me? I think this is kind of cool. But anyway, I've got one of my oldest patients here too, so this is special because she's been with me for probably 23 years, I think, since I started in practice. Um, so I know these nails really well. Sometimes I have dreams about toenails and I'm like, oh my god, it's so and so's toenails. It's her toenails because she's been with me that long that I can actually, I can see a picture of those toenails and pick them out of a, a line. So people Oh my God, it would be time to quit for me if I started dreaming about people's toenails. Find up like 10 people's toenails, I'd say that is so-and-so's toenails. Isn't that cool? It's not that cool, is it? Okay. Anyway, let's take a look at it. Um, she's got a little bit of fungus in her toenails, and I don't want to say her name, but she also um, is diabetic. Can you see that? Yeah, how's your blood sugar? <laughs> They're pretty, are your blood sugars pretty good? Yeah. What do they usually run? Nine, nine, three. Oh, okay, good. So it's been not that bad. So, okay. So with her, okay. Nails, so he checks to see. Some of them down. Nipper. Um, some of them down. Um, this. Uh, and how's your blood sugars normal? Yes. The pretty. Are your blood sugars pretty good? Yes. What do they usually run? Nine, nine, one, three. Oh, okay, good. So it's been not that bad. So. Well, at least he does that part too, and he checks blood sugars. Okay, so with her nails, some of them have fungus in them, some of them don't. Um, this, uh, if you look at this nail, this one is one that really, it has superficial fungus. If you look at the top on a close-up, you can really see it. Are we going to get the play-by-play play on every there's single toe? Much. As you go down the line here, there's a little bit more. So with these, we, we have a big nail nipper and we have a regular nail nipper. On these type of nails, I can use a regular nail nipper. Um, and, oh, she flinched already. Uh-oh. Uh, I'm going to hear about that one, huh? Um, but anyway, she also has nails that um, have skin underneath them. Okay. Uh, that's a typical patient. Example on this one, you can see where it comes to a little bit of a point. You'll see it as we go um, down the down the line here. Some of them are worse than others. The thicker they are, the more they get that. So they tend to bleed. So if you see bleeding, it's not because of poor technique, because my technique is absolutely 100% perfect. Okay. I guess mine is too then. Right, Dr. Dale Nipper. What? Dr. Nipper. What? I wonder if she goes by nail, if her friends call her nail. He's talking um, about me. Nipper. That's so funny. Or just Judy. Her first name is Judy. That makes sense. Right, yeah, it does. So this is what I'm talking about right here. Okay, that's the skin at the end of the nail. So that, what I'm going to do is use a Dremel on that. And let's see here. This one's a little bit tougher because there's a lot of extra skin there. We also call that, in layman's terms, and also in, uh, I guess you could say, um, extraordinary terms, we call it toe meat. Toe meat is when you get the flesh. <laughs> I've never heard that. Around an ale. That's very funny. And there's a little bit of toe meat and there's also some corn at the end of the toe. Too. Toe meat. And the corn okay. from hitting the toe. Um, I'm going to start using that one. Usually. And from a hammer toe deformity. So when the toe is pointing downward, like this one, you can see the hammer toe deformity here. It hits the end of the shoe. And okay, blah, blah, so blah. If we sent this for a nail bot. This one is real thick. There's not much to cut here. We're just going to so go kind of quickly through this. this. Oh, did that hurt there? Okay. All right, let's go back over there. We'll use the drum up there. This one, too, not too bad. 
the sound his nippers make. So on these, Sounds like a scissor. Too aggressive unless he's been having some issues. Although diabetics sometimes can't feel pain, so we have to look to see is a red on the side of the toe um, or swollen. If you look right here, this is not hypertrophic. Hypertrophic means thick. Okay, blah, blah, blah. Problem right now, so we're just going to grind that down and keep that as straight as possible. She's got some extra growth here, too. We'll grind down with the Dremel. So oh, I see more toe meat under this one. Toe meat? <laughs> All right. Well, he, these are looking good. I, I can, I can get behind sometimes these. Sometimes I feel I can actually feel skin under there, but sometimes it's too late and you feel it clip and you say, uh oh, and then you get a little bit of that's true. Bleeding. It's like celery. It's like you're cutting celery. Doctor Nail Nipper is familiar with that. He's talking about me again. She is Doctor Nail Nipper. She nips <laughs> nails. He's so funny. She does sports medicine too, from what I understand. I do. I work with a lot of athletes. Okay. Toe meat. There's more toe meat there. And more I got it. I got it. I'm learning. Okay. Okay. We're trying to get these short because she comes in. It's, is it every three months or nine weeks that you're coming in? Three months? Yes. Okay. Well, I didn't see any bleeding of the toe oh, meat, okay. so that's now pretty good. Dremel. We're going to take our Dremel to this. Dremel this down. He's using an actual Dremel from the hardware store that plugs into the wall. Okay, so this is where we're going to try to smooth that horn. That, that is so funny. Does that hurt a little bit or no? Is this the, what do you feel? Is this the vibration? Yeah, okay. she's, she's jumping. Some patients do that. It's just the vibration. But look at that. He's holding it like he's, he's washing the driveway. But he's getting a good result, so what can I say? Dremel style. Is that like Gangnam style? Look how he's holding that thing. That is so funny. He's talking about getting his glove caught in it, that it could be a disaster, and been there, done that. <clears throat> that is so crazy how he's holding that thing, and he's getting a good result with it. Wow. Yeah, he's thinning it out pretty well. Hmm. I don't know. I just feel better holding something kind of like a pencil rather than holding it back here and rubbing it on the nails. But he's been doing it like this a long time, I guess, so he's Gets good results, and I hasn't haven't seen anybody bleed yet. Toe meat. I'm still stuck on toe meat. Oof! Patient keeps jumping. So that is not a bad job. It kind of shines them. Shines them. Kind of see what it always looks better when you wet them down. Also with this gauze, if it catches, I know that there's an issue with the nail itself. And this is catching just a tiny bit, so I'm going to smooth this just a little bit right here. Oh, that is so funny. Oh, I see toe meat. Toe meat right there. I think it looks good. Okay, this is my favorite part. After cutting the nails, we like to spray powder. Watch this. Ooh. See how cool that is? What is it? This is magic powder. It makes the nails grow. Magic so powder. Her nails are going to grow. 
about maybe one eighth of an inch, which is great. Every time we spray this stuff, they grow. He's so funny. He's um, very funny, this and guy. Dr. Nail Nipper, have fun with this. Me? Um, we do love Dr. Nail Nipper. We learn a lot from He's her. talking about me again. See here, subscribe to the channel. Look at him. Nice guy. Nice guy. Okay. Well, I can do that. So, thank you for joining me on this uh, video. And um, I'll have to, that's very funny that he kept talking about me. I'm a little, I'm a little embarrassed, but okay. So, uh, if you enjoyed watching this, let us know in the comments. And hopefully then maybe... Um, I'll ask him to talk about me some more. <laughs> so thank you for watching and uh, enjoy your day, weekend, whenever it is you watch this.